Okay guys, so I know you saw the look that I created with the synthetic wig and you wanted to know how. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna show you the products that you're going to need today in order to achieve this look. Now, first up, you are going to need some products. Okay, so first and foremost, you're going to need, of course, the wig itself. And this is the wig that I got off of Amazon, the Sensational Wig, if you guys can see it. It's so freaking blurry with the plastic on. I'll take the plastic off so you guys can see. Maybe it's the glare. All right, so you can see it a little bit better here. Okay, so I have the Brielle in LW003. I'll place that on the screen. It's the Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig. Okay, so I'll put that on the screen for you guys. Also, to apply the wig, I, these are things that I use, but I use the Got To Be Glued, the black version, because I like the clear gel better. Um, you're gonna need your E-Bin black, and I also have the red. It's up to you if you want to use both. The, I use both, I just want a hell of a grip, but I use both, you can use either or. You're going to need powder foundation, whatever color your complexion is. Mine is complexion NW45, so that's what works for me. You're going to need a tweezer. Um, a foundation brush to do your wig cap. You're going to need a, I guess, edges brush. I have two because I use both. It depends on how I want it, so I use both. Most people use a small one. Oh, and you're also going to need a pair of scissors, preferably small ones. They're easier to cut with. And you're going to need a comb. I brought two combs because that's just what I do. And you're going to need a hot comb. So this hot comb is from Kendra's Boutique. Um, I haven't used it yet, so it's the first time I'm using it on camera. Usually I use my other hot comb, but I want to try this one while using this wig, okay? So let's get right into it. So as you can see guys, I have already laid my ball cap. Um, I'm going to insert a little video just showing you guys the things that I use to lay the ball cap to make sure that it was flat laid and that my wig could go on finito and nice and flat and all that, all that good stuff. So the wig is pretty long, which I'm very surprised that it's pretty long, okay? And then you guys can see what the lace looks like. It's a pretty nice lace for an Amazon wig, right? For a synthetic wig, this is a good lace. This is an amazing lace. For a synthetic wig, this is an amazing lace. 
So let me show you guys. First thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna change the color of the lace with our foundation, foundation brush. So we're just gonna dab in because we want it to be the same color of our complexion, duh. And we're just gonna go in with the foundation brush. You guys can see. And we're gonna just start changing the color of the lace because we want it to match our complexion. Okay guys, so the final result, you can see we got the middle and I did the outskirts of the lace to make it the same color. Okay, so this is, I know I didn't say in the beginning, this is a 13 by six lace wig. Um, it's human, it's premium fiber, so it's human and synthetic hair mixed together. Honestly, I don't know what length it is because it doesn't say that on the website. When you buy it on Amazon, it doesn't tell you the length. It doesn't even tell you the length on the packaging. Um, this is a, in the color one. And I gave you guys a color in the beginning. The wig style name is Brio. So let's put it on. So first we're just gonna attach her to the back of our head. And you guys are gonna see me looking down a lot. Okay, so first thing I would do first is I take a bundle of the hair and then I just catch it up with a pin. We're gonna wanna comb back as much of the hair as possible because we do not want the hair to get into the front and then we're gonna have to cut it off. We don't want that. We don't wanna waste any hair. So we're gonna make sure all of the hairs are fully back and then we're gonna pull our lace up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure it down to see how much of it we're gonna have to cut off. So as you can see from here, Pull it all the way down, and I wanna see how much of my hair I'm gonna to have to cut off. So of course you wanna hide your lace cap. You see how beautiful that looks? <laughs> Amazon wear. All right, so we're gonna pull this down, and we're gonna see how much of we need to cut off, and we're gonna go in and we're just gonna cut off that excess that we don't need. So it'll be easier when I have to tape it down, or glue it down. All right, so we're taking that off. And you see, when I have to glue it, it's gonna glue perfectly down, especially if I wanna do baby hairs, which I probably won't, because I never do. Same thing on this side. Same thing you do with the front. So now that we have our wig cut and ready to go, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my clear guts to be glued. Now we're gonna get our blow dryer to blow dry this bad boy to lay it flat. Blow dryer. All right guys, so now that we have our hair dry, you know, it's all dry now, I'm gonna take the front of the wig, take your two fingers under and pull it down to where you started gluing. And then what I do is I only do the front and I start to lay it. Lay it slowly where you have put the glue at. And then you're gonna take the rest and do the same thing all around until you have the whole wig glued down. So now some of the hairs is a little bit, some of the lace didn't stick, so I'll go back in with my gotta be glued. Just put a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, oh God, I forgot you need a wig band if you don't have one. Take our wig band, and then we're going to lay that bad boy flat. This is really a good wig. Like, I feel like this is a nice wig. Like, look at this. This is, for Amazon, this is dope. And what I like, this is a 13 by six, so the part is hella wide. 
I've been in life. I've been in life. So because it's tangling a little bit, I'm gonna just take my white tooth comb and just comb it out a little bit. Okay. Just comb out my white tooth comb just a little bit. You don't wanna comb out all of the curl. So what we're gonna do is, you already know you need your wax stick. I forgot to say you guys need this too. I'm sorry guys. But you need your wax stick. I got this off Amazon. It's called Kira Care. I'm gonna just post a picture on the screen. You just put a little bit. I do not like putting a lot of this. You just put a little bit towards the back, towards the front. Because you know we're trying to make the edges flat. So we have to wait until they dry to do the front. So in the meantime, you don't want to waste time. So instead, you're just going to go in with your flat, your flat comb, your hot comb. And this is my first time using this hot comb, guys. So let's hope I don't burn this wig off. <laughs> yeah, y'all not getting this tutorial if I do. As you can see, I love this hot comb because it has like some type of guard on it so it doesn't burn your hand. But I still have my protective glove just in case because your girl don't want to burn her hand at all. So. so what we're gonna do is because we put the we already put the flat layer on to make it flat, we're just gonna go in with our hot comb. This wig can take up to 350 to 400 degrees. And we're gonna do the same. So you see the difference? You see how this one is just shining and flat and then this is kind of like up. So we, we want to get it down. We want to get it really flat. You see it? You can't see that? Ah, there you go. You can see it. Whoa. <laughs> what? Nice. Ah. This is really lit. And I paid $55 for this, guys. I don't think I told you how much it cost. This wig was 55 bucks. product of the wig it's pretty long it's pretty long I don't really like that part but it's pretty long you can see we tried to do something here with the baby hair you guys know I am not a baby hair guru I don't even like baby hairs but we tried to do something there okay did the baby hairs on this side as well but this is the final product guys don't know how you guys feel about it. I personally, I think it's cute. For $55, it's a little tangly though. Like when you go like this, you gotta kinda pull your fingers through it. So it is, see, it does tangle, but it's mixed hair. So you can only expect but so much. But other than that, I think it really came out really good. Like it came out very good. I think it came out very good and I really, really like it i i really do okay guys so what i forgot to mention in the last clip is i actually really really like the wig but what i realized is the front of the lace was giving me a little bit of issues and i think i should have used a lace tint spray instead to make it darker because clearly my foundation wasn't dark enough so i should have used that um even you could tell my baby hairs are but other than that, I really enjoyed um, installing this wig and I really loved it. I will link the wig down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on your bell notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. You know you are a